Woo-wee. Look at this. Look at this. It's the definition for me, y'all. No cap. What's up, my mango babies? If you guys want to see how I went from this big, voluminous blowout into these beautiful, defined curls by doing bantu knots, please, please, please stay tuned and keep on watching. And I'm going to be telling you guys some tips and tricks on how to get, get a perfect bantu knot out. So stay tuned and please keep on watching. <laughs> What's good, my mango babies? It is your girl, Larry Movie, and I am back with another mango delicious video. Look, I'm not the same nigga. I fuck that bitch and you came with him. You hit it first, but I hit it worse. You trying to flirt, but I'm in a skirt. Fuck on the tuck, I just put in work. She down the ride and she off a perk. Hit every angle, she call me Kurt. It actually gets time to time you. Today, I'm going to be doing a talk to video slash tutorial on these beautiful voluminous curly fries curly fry curls but by, by doing bantu knots i know i i know i i already know i couldn't figure out what to do with my natural until i decided to do these curls on my notch on these voluminous bantu knots on this beautiful curls on my natural hair so if you guys want to see how to get get a perfect defined curl by doing bantu knots please stay tuned and keep on watching and i'm also going to be sharing y'all some pros and cons and tips and tricks on how to get a perfect bantu knot on your natural hair natural relaxed transitioning whatever kind of hair whatever type of hair do you have Stay tuned and keep on watching. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pause, wait a minute. Before we step into this video, make sure you guys hit that like button at the end of this video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Say a nice positive comment in the comment box below. We want no negative comments, okay? We want no negative explicit comments. Or else, if I find a negative explicit comment, I will remove you and I will block you. So don't play with me. And if you're new to the channel, don't be afraid to join the Mango Nation by hitting that subscribe button and turn on that bell to be notified. And don't forget to select all so that way you can be notified when I post a new video. Share it with your friends, your family, your girlfriends, your homies, whatever. And last but not least, please, you, if you if you want to stay connected with me, feel free to follow my social media in the description box below. You can follow me on Instagram, add me on Snapchat, follow me on Twitter, and you can also follow me on TikTok for some more videos and with no further ado we'll step right into this video so the tools that so here are the things i'll be using i'll be using a wrap tail comb my butterfly clips you know what i mean i'm gonna be using some bobby pins to secure my bantu knots I'm going to be using a diamond brush to smooth out my hair before I actually bend to knot. And I'll be using my Melon Twist Elongating Style Cream as my moisturizer and styler. So as you guys can see right now, I'm about to section my hair into four equal quadrants to make this bend to knot a lot easier and to have control while I'm doing this hairstyle. And then once I section the hair, I'm going to clip it all the way with with some with butterfly clips 
to get them out of the way. And then once after that's done, I'm going to start off with my start off with the back since the back is a lot easier just to do my bantu knots. And any other style, you know what I mean? Just for me, if you guys want to start in the front, feel free to start the front section. So all we did the left side, all we did these two middle sections off camera and now I'm gonna, uh, you have seen me, um, well I did the left section off camera and now I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do your bantu knots correctly. And make sure you have, it. if you want your, your bantu knots to be secure, you can use bobby pins or you can use um, hair ties, it's definitely up to you. Or if you want to tuck your um, bantu knots in, but only um, tuck it in while the, well, if the, like when the product is at the end of the hair. So make sure you have your bobby pins with you and your product. So I'm going to go ahead and take the section that I have and I'm going to go right ahead and take about like a good, like a generous amount of styling cream. I'm using my Melon Hair Care Twist Elongating Style Cream. I'm using that as a product. And remember, this Twist Elongating Style Cream, a little goes a long way with this pack. So a little... So if you have your um, curling cream, curl moisturizer, apply a generous amount and make sure you apply this from your ends, working your way up to the roots. So that way that section can, so that way it can be moisturized. And if your ends start to get a little dry, apply a little more um, of your curling cream or moisturizer of, of choice and work it through. <clears throat> and if you want some extra extra moisture feel free to slap it on all and remember a little goes a long way with this product i like to add a good amount of product to make sure that my my roots and my ends are moisturized and i'm going to um smooth it through and once your product is smooth once you apply your cream brush it out to make sure that none of the tangles and none of the knots are present. And then once that you're gonna, gonna go right here. <clears throat> so this is the single strand. This is really easy, but if you guys wanna do like a three strand twist out, twist out and then wrap around like, like wrap, wrap it around like a bantu knot, go ahead. But if you guys want to, Want me to so if you guys want this single strand twist, I will show you. So what so if you guys can't see, I'ma screw up a little I'm gonna bring my ring light a lot closer so that way y'all you guys can see. So I'm gonna take the hand and I'm gonna go ahead with my right hand, which is my domino hand. Gonna go ahead, twist, grab my left hand. And I am pinching this with my pink, my thumb, index middle, and middle finger, so that way my single strand can be nice and neat, and making sure that I'm smoothing, smoothing the product while I am wrapping. And once you get to the ends. Apply a little bit of product because we don't want our ends to be dry and blunt. Now, once that, once you get your single strand, this is how it should look like. 
do if you don't want a headache do not wrap them too tight because we don't want a headache so once that you're gonna go right here i'm gonna go a little closer i'm gonna wrap up top and make sure you coiling it while wrapping the hair because if you want that defined curl it's really the most important step is to wrap to coil and wrap coil and wrap coil and wrap but don't do it too tight and then once you have a little bit of hair left you could just secure with a brown pen or if you want you could just twist it like that to make it more secure but for me since i don't want my ends to get i don't want my ends to fall off i'm gonna be taking my bobby pen and if my my fingers are slipping it's due to the curling cream that i have on my fingers just carefully slide it on there then bam that's how you get your perfect bend to nod out if you guys didn't get that, I will show you guys how to do it in slow motion so that way you guys can understand what.
Alright guys, so as you guys can see, all we did the left side of the band to not take down. And now I'm going to show you guys how how to take out your band to not properly. So you're gonna, I'm going to start. Um, so I'm going to do it in the front so that way you guys, so that way you guys can see see what I'm doing. So you want to um, twist it like this, twist it, and then you want to just continue twisting. And once this comes loose to um, continue twisting it and then continue it and then you want to do a little twirl and then once once you untwirl just let go and bam look at that you will get something like this you see that see that springiness see the spring All right, you guys, so after I take down the bantu knots, I'm gonna be using my melanin. I'm gonna try to use pure oil blend to separate the curls without causing any breakage or frizz to the hair when I'm taking down this style.
all right my mega babies so here are some tips and tricks on how to get a perfect bantu knot on your transitioning relaxed natural hair so tip number one always start your bantu knot on on blow on blow dry on stretched hair i prefer you for you to blow dry your hair because it will give you more of a elongated look see the doing a bantu knot on dry hair will give you a will give you a really good result no matter if your hair is like short or long short medium or long you can still do these curls and doing the doing this on blow dry hair will give you the best results ever never do your bantu knots on wet slash damp hair because if you do it on wet slash damp hair it will not give you the good it will give you like a if you get it will you will get shrinkage but it will not give you the bent knot curl as as you want it you know what i mean tip number two buy a really good product that will work best for you for example i only use one product which is the melon hair care twist elongating style cream and i use that as a styler you can use a curling cream you can use a curling cream and a gel but if you're using both a curling cream and a gel apply a little bit of gel apply a small amount of gel because if you put a, a big amount if you get like a core size amount of gel, of gel or a golf size amount of gel you will not get the definite you will not get the you will not get the definition that you would need you know what I mean and tip and tip number three do not twist your roots too tight. No matter if you're doing a single strand twist, two strand twist, braid out. But if you're doing a single strand twist like I like these, do not twist do not twist your your roots. Don't start the roots. Start at just go ahead and twist it tight, but not too tight cuz we don't want to get a headache. But if you do get a headache, here here's some you know here's some headache some pain reliever slash headache removers that I suggest you recommend if you had if you have a really bad headache. So if you have a headache, then you can use um, Tiger Bomb. This is like a small amount of Tiger Bomb. You can use Advil pain relievers. The this and the Advil will help get rid of your headache. Or if it gets too tight, loosen them and tighten them, but don't do it too tight, cause we don't want a we don't want a headache. You know what I mean? And tip number four: Please take your time while doing the bantu knot out. No matter how many sections you do, no matter how many sections you do, you will still get the same result. You will still get a different results. And and also, please take your time when taking down your when taking down and separating your bantu knots, because if you rush, you will get some frizz, and that's a no ma'am, no ham, and no turkey. Tip number five: Use a lightweight oil. If you have fine hair, use a lightweight oil. I suggest you use a harbor oil, or if you use a heavier oil, use a small amount of oil, because if you have fine hair. We don't don't weigh it down by using too much oil. And if you're using the oil, make sure you put a really good amount, but not a generous amount, but a kind of like kind of like a really good amount of oil. So that way, when you take it down, you will not have any frizz or any breakage while taking down your hair. And that's super duper important. And tip number six. Pick your hair. If you want some volume, feel free to use a hair pick to pick your hair. Or if you want more bigger hair, you can use a blow dryer and um, and you can stretch it only at the roots just to make it big. And also, if you want if you want more length, the banding method will work. The banding the band if you prefer the banding method, feel free to do that. And of course, 
and of course stretching your hair of course for day one hair like this is day one hair as you guys can see and for day one hair you know your hair gets really sh it shrinks but throughout the weeks like for example throughout throughout the week it will stretch trust me you know what I mean? tip number seven please protect your hair every single night when you're wearing wearing bantu knots because bantu knots can get frizzy no matter it's from from you working now or if you're um sleeping on it if if you're tossing and turning on a pillow that's not in sat not satin that doesn't have any satin satin in it but please protect your hair at night and i have and of course i have some methods that you can um, preserve your bantu knot out at night you can do the pineapple method which is grabbing a hair you will need a hair tie and you will need your scarf and what you're gonna do i'm gonna back my ring light up so that way you guys can see what i'm actually doing but if you have if you have long medium to long hair you can do it too but if you have short hair it's kind of difficult so what you're gonna do you're gonna flip your hair over make sure you have your scrunchie in your hand I'm gonna gather the hair and smoothing it with my hands and then i'm gonna go ahead and grab my scrunchie and tie it twice i'm tying it loosely not tight because we'll want a headache and then i'm gonna be placing a placing a scarf on top and then I'm gonna tie it to make sure that it's secure so that way it doesn't slip out while you're sleeping and then bam this is the pineapple method but if you want you can do the banding method by using some hair ties or if you're a lazy natural you can feel free to get a satin pillowcase at your local store this is a satin pillowcase you can sleep on that too if you feel you can sleep on this too if you're a lazy nacho but for me i can either do a pine do this pineapple method or i can do the banding method it depends on how how i am how how i'm feeling if i want to do the pineapple method if i feel a little lazy i can do the pineapple method if i feel kind of woken up then I can do the bandy method. And yeah, so this is the pineapple method. All right, my makeup babies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please make sure you guys, if you're new, subscribe. Turn that bell to be notified. Select all so that way you can be notified when I post a new video. Like this video. Say a nice positive comment in the comment. Say a nice positive appropriate comment in the comment box below. Share this with your friends, your family, your girlfriends, your homies. And last but not least, if you want to stay connected with me, follow me on follow me on my social media. You know me Instagram, add me on Snapchat, follow me on Twitter, and follow me on TikTok. You know me, and let me know what you want me to do in in the next video. And you can also comment in the comment box below. You know me, and anywho, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. So. Toodles. Look, I'm not the same nigga. I for that bitch and you came with it. You hit it first, but I hit it worse. You tryna flirt, but I'm in a skirt. Fuck all the talk, I just put in work. She down the ride and she off a perk. Hit every angle, she call me Kirk. Hit up a jingle, that's what she worth. I'm not the same nigga.